BQ's back, baby. And do you see this list of birds? Well, it's time to engage chase mode for all of them. Hit the, Hit the music! music. This is Birding with BQ. Living hard to bird hard. All the time. We are live at Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area here on the border of Lancaster and Lebanon counties here in Pennsylvania, where the boys and I are out today picking up game changers on my quest for 2020. My quest for 2020 is a personal goal to capture 200 different species of birds on video by the end of the year. I'm doing that through digiscoping, or using my iPhone through my spotting scope, like I'm doing with these snow geese. Today's birding features a carefully crafted route through Lebanon and Lancaster counties to pick up these species. The order and timing of our visits is important to coincide with when these birds have been most active. The idea is to get each of these birds at the ideal time, then end our day at Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area, just to see what we can find. And let's face it folks, it wouldn't be birding in Lancaster County without... Mr. Lancaster County. <laughs> Unlike this red-winged blackbird, all four of these species are rarities to the state. Finding just one of these species in Pennsylvania is a big deal. Seeing all four in one day, now that's what chase mode is all about. And although I'm out here trying to digiscope 200 birds by the end of the year, the boys are out here building their Lebanon and Lancaster County lists and picking up awesome birds for the state and these counties. Our first stop of the day took us to someone's house in Lancaster County where they had a Dick Sissel visiting their bird feeder. Dick Sissel are a stunning species that are native to the grasslands of the Midwestern United States. They prefer wide open and even overgrown farm fields, but when they stray to the east, they can also be found at bird feeders. They like to associate with house sparrows, like this one did in the winter of 2015 in Chester County. So that's the feeder, but the homeowner kindly invited us in for better views. Hi. Hey, Mr. Lancaster you? County, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me to say that? And now, for the world premiere of our first target species of the day and my 100th all-time Lancaster County species, the Dick Sissel. Right here at the bird feeder, right out the window here in Lancaster. <laughs> Gotta love a bird you can get from inside the house, right Chad? That's right. Especially when it's right out this window. This bird is getting a lot brighter. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh. Here's Zach crushing it out the window right now. Yeah. yeah. Behind the, uh, oh, yeah, behind the hook. A handsome bird indeed. But we're on a schedule, folks. Our second stop is taking us to yet another piece of private property in Lancaster County to another bird feeder to see another handsome male. This one even more handsome than the last, a painted bunting. Painted bunting are a species that frankly need no introduction. Just look at them. This is a bird from the southern United States that I've been lucky enough to see in Pennsylvania before. One has been visiting a feeder at someone's house in Lancaster County, so we're dropping by in hopes of adding this on my quest for 2020. House Sparrow. It's not to see it. I have a dark-eyed junco on the left and the house sparrow on the right and the house finch in the foreground. There it is. Oh, he just came back in. On the left side. Wow! If anybody wants the scope, they can have it. What a bird. Handsome male, painted bunting. Mama mia! Look at that thing. You're a handsome male. Aw. Here with the Brown family, an entire family of birders here at the painted bunting spot. What did this bird mean to all y'all? Let's do a run down here. Um, it was very colorful, and that's the first time I've ever seen one, so that's pretty epic. Wow, a lifer. Literally, the most beautiful bird I've ever seen. Literally, Literally. the most beautiful Literally. bird. Natural beauty. Yeah, Finch, get out of the way. What are you doing? You're you're handsome too, but come on. Talk about a colorful bird. That is pretty cool. Lifer, and one of the top birds I've wanted to ever see. Wow. Look at this. We've got a house sparrow on top, dark-eyed junco on the right, house finch towards the left, painted bunting on the left. Unbelievable. Beautiful bird, and it's a lifer for me, so it's really great. Hard to pull the plug on this one, Thanks, but if we stay any longer, we might miss one, if not both, of our next targets. 
Spot number three takes us to a roadside culvert to look for an overwintering lark sparrow here in Lancaster County. I don't know who discovered this lark sparrow spot on the side of the road. Not the safest place to be birding, but for now, we wait. Now you might say to yourself, self, haven't you already seen a lark sparrow this year? Great memory. This Midwestern bird's native range ends in western Ohio, and I was lucky enough to see one in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, two weeks before this. Although I already have this on my quest for 2020, I haven't had lark sparrow in Lancaster County before. Thought we might as well add it to our county list while we're in the neighborhood. But wait, there's more. Another game changer, the red-headed woodpecker. A very handsome male at that. Mamma mia. Yeah. Mike Defina, how do you feel about today's day of birding? Oh, it's been fun so far. We had the painted bunting, which just, for some reason, makes me just have this incredible urge to chest bump you. No, no, no. Oh! Hard to see it now. Run into the right. See where that stump is? Yeah. Yeah. There's two stumps, one's kind of... So it looks like we missed the lark sparrow, but the good news, we picked up a red-headed woodpecker, which is another county bird for me, and a completely unexpected surprise. Fair trade, I would say. What's another one of our target birds today? Well, we have a couple. We have the lark sparrow that we're waiting for right now, which, cool, but I'm more looking forward to this black-throated gray warbler. A species we've had together before, but Mike has yet to see one in Pennsylvania. Of all the rarities today, the black-throated gray warbler is our main event. They are a warbler species of the western United States that have seen in Arizona, Maryland, and even in Pennsylvania before. But Mike didn't have the same success with the Pennsylvania one. I dipped on three times. I went to see it. No one saw it that day. The next day people got it. That happened three times. That's a bit of a nemesis for me. So when I went for the black-throated gray warbler that was here in Lancaster a few years ago, I went to see it, but the bird wasn't there for most of the day. I didn't get it until I was on my way out, and the bird was so non-cooperative, I didn't even get to digiscope it. I only got to photograph it. But this time it's gonna be different, man. This time we're better be different. Up and we're gonna see that bird immediately. I feel it, I think this is a good day, man. I feel it. So we ran into the brown and felty families while we were at the painted bunting, and it just so happens they have the black-throated gray warbler at their house. So right now we are on our way to hopefully getting a glimpse at the black-throated gray warbler. Hey guys. Hey. Hi Brian. All right, Nate, you being the keeper of the black-throated gray warbler, can you give us a little history of this bird on your property? So it first uh, showed up here about, um, what is it, September 26th of last year. And um, it's been um, a neighbor to us ever since. Now with our crew spending a little time here on your guys' property, we can tell this is a pretty special place when it comes to wildlife and habitat. Can you give us a little history here? Our family moved out here in 1996. And since then, this was just a farmer's field. We've been planting a lot of natives lately and they've finally grown up to a level that we're getting a lot more species of birds here. Yard count is currently at 125. Got it. Oh, oh yeah, there he is. All yes. right. That is so great. Thank you. Where's that? Dafina, how do you I feel right now? I um, feel vindication and relief, and I feel like I've been lifted from the Chad curse. Chad, how do you feel about that? Ditto. <laughs> Come on. So they all got it. But for me, when it comes to digiscoping, this bird is not playing ball. You move again? Oh my gosh. This whole crew rolling after it. This black-throated gray warbler is sending us all on a wild warbler chase around the house as we're all trying to get looks. I mean, look at this crew. All putting in work for this bird. There he goes. Oh, come on! Black throated gray warbler in the scope. Mamma mia, we got him! <laughs> this black throated gray warbler is behaving a lot like the one I saw at Noel Dorwart Park. Very secretive and not being very cooperative for video. Was that no dull son? Yet another target bird on our big day. The looks are not very climactic, but you know what? 
I love it. Chad, Dafina, a longtime nemesis for you two. How do you guys feel now that you finally got the black throated gray warbler in Vindicated. Pennsylvania? Yeah, I feel relieved a little yeah. bit. But we were running around. How did, how did you describe it when we were running around chasing that thing? Like a, a bunch of cats chasing a laser. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And now we're here at our last stop, Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area. No particular target in mind. More here for the spectacle. The amount of snow geese here at Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area is absolutely bonkers. You can see here's a whole flock, but this is just a fraction of the action. The birding here at Middle Creek is not always about rarities. It's more about quantity. Quantity of people and quantity of birds. Snow geese can exhibit two different color morphs. First, you have the classic white bird with the pink bill and the black wing tips. And then there's the blue morph, which is actually more of a brown bird that has the same white head and pink bill, but instead a brown body, as you can see right here in the middle of all these snow geese. It's a spectacle of people and animals and back pain. <laughs> Poor Dafina here. We birded so hard that we got a man down. Nah, man, I'm just resting, dog. <laughs> this reminds me of one time in Arizona. Remember that? Yeah, where my feet were swollen like wet loaves of bread. <laughs> that was it. That was disgusting. Greater white fronted goose, another expert find by Mr. Lancaster County among this mountain of snow geese here at Middle Creek. A whole group of tundra swans, a new bird for my quest for 2020. <laughs> Gotta say, it's been a pretty exciting day of birding here so far to say the least. The amount of game changers we've got, it's almost hard to tell what state we're even in right now. Two males and a female northern pintail. Green winged teal, the North American type. I say this because there's also a Eurasian type teal here with a white horizontal stripe on the body and white facial markings around the green on the head. Although this one doesn't seem to be very bold. I wonder if maybe it's a hybrid Eurasian and North American green winged teal. Ah, uh, good news. We've made it. Some sustenance here at Sheets, baby. Let's go. Well, sports fans, you can't bird hard if you don't bird all day. And as much as I love looking at winter waterfowl, at some point, I gotta go home and sleep. And now the reverse carpool. Dropping off Mr. Lancaster County. Hey, man. These, Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> well, after 10 hours of birding with the boys here, we wrapped up with three out of four target birds and an amazing spectacle of snow geese. Any closing words? Have a good time all the time. Have a good time all the time. So until next time, stay fresh. And peace out, y'all. <laughs>